NASA's history-making Ingenuity helicopter flew its last flight on Mars in January, but engineers just received its final transmission to Earth on April 16. The resilient machine sustained damage during a rough landing, but was still able to collect data and talk to its companion Perseverance rover. With Perseverance moving on, the communications link is severed. Ingenuity's farewell message was a tribute to its team. Ingenuity's last chat with Earth included the names of the people who worked on the project. NASA Jet Propulsion Lab's mission controllers made the farewell message possible by sending it first to the Perseverance rover, which sent it to Ingenuity and then back to the rover to send to Earth, like an interplanetary game of telephone. Ingenuity doesn't talk directly to NASA, but used Perseverance as a communications base station. The rotorcraft now sits with a broken rotor blade in the Jezero crater at a spot named Valinor Hills. The name comes from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Lord of the Rings fantasy series. It's an epic name for the final resting place of an epic mission. Ingenuity is headed into an unusual retirement program. With apologies to Dylan Thomas, Ingenuity will not be going gently into that good Martian night, said Ingenuity team led Josh Anderson in a statement on Tuesday. The helicopter received a software update that commands it to collect data about its solar panels and equipment, take color pictures of the planet's surface and gather temperature information. It will continue this practice for as long as it holds out, even though it's no longer talking with the rover. Part of Ingenuity's final communication included confirmation the new software was working properly. NASA's Perseverance rover snapped a mosaic of Ingenuity at Valinor Hills on Mars on February 4th. Ingenuity is the small object in the center. All machines on Mars eventually die. The rotorcraft is solar-powered, so there's a chance its solar panels could get covered in dust, choking out its power over time. Ingenuity will contend with the cold and windy conditions on Mars. Whatever data it collects will remain stored on board. The team has calculated Ingenuity's memory could potentially hold about 20 years worth of daily data, NASA said. The helicopter leaves behind an impressive legacy of aerial achievement. It was originally considered a technology demonstration, an add-on to the main Perseverance mission. It made history in April 2021 when it became the first aircraft to make a powered, controlled flight on another planet. NASA was hoping to get five flights out of it. Ultimately, it logged 72 flights covering 10.5 miles through the air. It went from a demonstration to acting as a scout for Perseverance. It proved helicopters can be an important part of future missions. While Ingenuity may be grounded and silent, team members are still working on the future of helicopter exploration on other planets. One of their goals is to design the next Mars helicopter using what was learned from Ingenuity's triumphs and tribulations. Ingenuity will become a time capsule, but one that is still alive for the time being, said project manager Teddy Tsunidos. Whenever humanity revisits Valinor Hills either with a rover, a new aircraft, or future astronauts Ingenuity will be waiting with her last gift of data, a final testament to the reason we dare mighty things. The little chopper's flying days are over, but it's still alive and gathering data on the red planet. Saying goodbye is never easy, especially from a world away. The Ingenuity Mars helicopter team convened one last time on Tuesday, April 16, to oversee a transmission from the little rotorcraft, the first robot ever to explore the skies of a world beyond Earth. The meeting, in a control room at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, JPL, in Southern California, came nearly three months after Ingenuity's 72nd and final flight. The four-pound, 1.8 kilograms, chopper damaged its rotors while landing that day, consigning it to a stationary existence from now on, but it lives still as a weather station and technology testbed. With apologies to Dylan Thomas, Ingenuity will not be going gently into that good Martian night, Josh Anderson, Ingenuity team lead at JPL, said in a statement. It is almost unbelievable that, after over 1,000 Martian days on the surface, 72 flights, and one rough landing, she still has something to give," Anderson added. And thanks to the dedication of this amazing team, not only did Ingenuity overachieve beyond our wildest dreams, but also it may teach us new lessons in the years to come. Ingenuity landed with NASA's life-hunting, sample-collecting Perseverance rover on the floor of the 28-mile-wide, 45 kilometers, Jezero Crater in February 2021. Breaking space news, the latest updates on rocket launches, skywatching events, and more. Two months later, 
the little rotorcraft deployed from Perseverance's belly and took to Mars skies for the first time. Ingenuity flew four more times in relatively quick succession, acing its demonstration mission, which aimed to show that aerial exploration is possible on the Red Planet despite its thin atmosphere. And Ingenuity just kept on flying, on an extended mission during which the helicopter served as a scout for Perseverance. Over the course of its 72 Mars flights, Ingenuity stayed aloft for a total of 129 minutes and covered 10.5 miles .0 kilometers, of ground, more than 14 times farther than it was originally expected to go, according to NASA officials. Ingenuity communicates with Earth via Perseverance, and the big rover will soon disappear over the horizon, leaving its little partner behind. The helicopter team met on Tuesday, before that happens, to eat some Final Comms chocolate cake and review a key transmission relayed via Perseverance and NASA's Deep Space Network. The telemetry confirmed that a software update previously beamed up to Ingenuity was operating as expected, NASA officials wrote in the same statement. The new software contains commands that direct the helicopter to continue collecting data well after communications with the rover have ceased. Ingenuity will continue to wake up every day, activate its onboard computers, and test its solar panels, batteries, and electronics, NASA officials added. The chopper will also photograph the Martian surface and collect temperature data at its final landing site, a spot the team calls Valinor Hills. Ingenuity's engineers and Mars scientists believe such long-term data collection could not only benefit future designers of aircraft and other vehicles for the Red Planet, but also provide a long-term perspective on Martian weather patterns and dust movement, NASA officials wrote. Ingenuity will continue this work for as long as it can, until something breaks, for example, or dust blocks its solar panels. The mission team believes the chopper's memory could potentially hold about 20 years worth of daily data. Ingenuity may be stationary now, but it leaves behind a legacy of groundbreaking achievements and a wealth of data that will continue to inform future missions to Mars and beyond.